this first part of our Where is North or Compass tutorial, we're going to take this image and put it on the main screen and rotate it by some fixed number of degrees. In a later part of the tutorial, we'll use the device's sensors to figure out which direction north is and then use that information to figure out how many degrees to turn this image. So let's get started. I'm going to start by creating a brand new Android project and I'm going to call this project uh, Compass Project and I'm going to leave all this default. I'm going to start with an empty activity and I'm going to name the main activity Compass Activity. Android has now initialized a new activity the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take that image of the arrow and upload it into our resource folder in the drawable class. And so I'm going to come over here and say new image asset. And I'm going to hunt on my computer to find the image. And when I upload it, I have to make sure that I don't use any dashes or uppercase letters. I'm just going to call it a simple arrow name here. And um, I think that should be... Okay, and now if I look in the MIPMAP directory, there are various versions of different sizes of the image I just uploaded. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a helper class. So we're going to come over to the existing class and hit new Java class. And we're going to call this the arrow view class. And we're going to extend the view object. Okay. And uh, we need a constructor in order to uh, get rid of this error. So I'm going to automatically create the constructor. And uh, we're also going to need to bring in the image that we had previously uploaded. Now we had uploaded as a PNG image. I'm going to convert that image to a bitmap to uh, make it a little easier to work with. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to overload the onDraw method. I'm going to show you a little trick here. I've got my cursor inside the arrow view class in some blank space. If I right mouse click, I can hit the generate button. And if I pick the override methods, it shows me all the methods inside the class I can currently override. I want to make sure that this A to Z or alphabetize uh, tab is selected and that allows me to easily find the method I'm looking for. I'm going to look for the onDraw method. And here that is, and I'm going to bring that in uh, as an overrided method right here. Now we're going to uh, do some typing inside this method to write the bulk of our code and uh, this is going to be used to add the arrow to the canvas. Now when we uh, manipulate the canvas it's a, generally a good idea to do a a canvas save um, before we do any manipulations and after we're finished manipulating to do a canvas restore. And what this does is it keeps the coordinates uh, from drifting uh, inside the canvas. Uh, if you don't understand that, don't worry about it too much. Uh, we'll talk about this in more detail in a, a more advanced app later. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put in the main code to draw the bitmap. Now this null that I have at the end uh, is because I don't need to change the color of the arrow. Uh, if you wanted to, you could have created a paint object and put it in here and that would change the color. So the next thing I need to figure out is what am I going to set the X and Y to? And here what we need to do is we need to find the center of our, uh, of our screen. So to do that I'm going to just create some temporary variables, X and Y. OK, 
Okay, so this is a pretty close approximation of where the center of our screen is going to be. There's one little problem. If I put it in like this, what's going to get centered is not the image, but the top left corner of the image. So what I need to do now is I need to make a slight adjustment to my X and Y uh, based on the size of the image. Uh, so what I really want to do here is I want to take the image and I want to shift it up by half of its height and I want to shift it to the left by half of its width. So to do that I just make a slight adjustment. What I've done is I've taken the figure and I've raised it by half of its height and shifted to the left by half of its width. So this will give us much better centering. It's important that the image be centered exactly on our screen. Otherwise, as we start to rotate the screen and the image starts to rotate, it's going to start to drift and those errors are going to compound. Now let's get back to our main compass activity and we're going to make use of the new custom view that we've just built. So I'm going to create a instance variable and I'm going to initialize that variable and uh, add it to the current content. The arrow view class uh, in its constructor uh, needs the current context and the only thing we need to do to, to give it that context is to put the keyword this in the parameter list. Okay, so that's all we need to do uh, in order to initialize the arrow view uh, and to add it to the current content view. So let's uh, run this now and see if we can get the arrow to show up on our screen. By pressing the green run button I was able to get the emulator to initialize and the app to load and we see that the arrow has shown up a little bit smaller perhaps than we would like but well centered on the screen. Now if this doesn't look centered to you I would encourage you on your own machine to stop the video and take a ruler and measure from the center of this arrow to the to top, the bottom, and the sides to make sure it is indeed centered. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a rotation capability to our view so that we can rotate this uh, arrow in any number of degrees that we want. Back in the arrow view class I'm going to add uh, a little bit more code to add the rotation feature. I'm going to add a new instance variable to keep track of the rotation angle and I'm going to use a float here because the methods that use the angle all have a float as the parameter so it'll be easier to keep track of it that way and just in case the user does not set the angle because uh, it's not needed or it's forgotten I'll just be careful to initialize it in the um, constructor now, even though I'm going to put in a decimal number here, uh, you might find it necessary to create a, an explicit cast. Uh, otherwise, this is going to default to a double, which does not automatically convert to a float inside the uh, Android system. And now I need to add a utility function to allow the uh, main activity to set this rotation angle to whatever it wants. Okay, I've gone ahead and added that a rotation set rotation angle method, and now what I want to do is in the on draw method I want to add a line of code that is going to cause the uh, canvas to get rotated. Now you might be tempted to put the rotation in after you've drawn the map, but in order to see the effects of the rotation, we have to have a draw call after the rotation. And since we already have a draw call here, the most convenient thing is to just put the rotation. Uh, before the draw. Okay, so this line of code is going to accomplish this feat. I just want to call your attention to the centering that I did over here, uh, which is similar to the centering that I did for the image. But notice that we do not make the same adjustment that we made for the image uh, because we only use the canvas uh, to 
calculate the center and why is this I, in the draw bitmap we had to center the image so we had to shift the image up and to the left by half of its dimensions here we're not centering the image we're trying to find the center of the screen so since we're rotating the canvas and not the image we just need to find the center of the canvas so we use the canvas dimensions only for our centering now I want to test this uh, new rotation capability so just for test purposes what I'm going to do is I'm going to hard code the rotation angle and I'll just make it uh, 270 degrees and what this is going to do is it's going to cause the arrow which is currently pointing up to uh, point to the left uh, recall that in uh, most graphic coordinate systems unlike in mathematics uh, positive angles are clockwise instead of what you learn in math class where they're counterclockwise so let's go ahead and run this and see if we can get a left pointing arrow I've run the app again and indeed the arrow is now pointing to the left and it looks like it's remaining in a centered position so everything looks good here let's just do one more to be sure let's try an angle of 90 degrees uh, this time the arrow should point to the right. I should probably put a, this pointer here. I just like to have everything shown to the reader exactly where uh, who owns each variable. Okay, let's try this one. And it looks like this one is working also. Uh, so that'll be the end of our testing. I just have to be careful now to comment out this line of code for the next portion of the tutorial. Otherwise, it'll always get fixed at 90 degrees. And now in the next portion of the tutorials, we're going to use the sensors to calculate the rotation angle and have that call the uh, set rotation angle method uh, and then force a redraw.